So we're on workbook page 150. Today we're going to be learning to do the percent of a number. So that word of means to multiply. So when it says find the percent of a number, you're going to be using multiplication. So if I want to find 32% of 60, 32% doesn't mean 32. It means 0 0.32. So when I multiply by 60, I have to multiply by 0.32. So we have to first change the percent to a decimal and then multiply. And for this, you would get 19.2. So 32% of 60 is 19.2. Number two, we have 0.55% of 220. Again, this is not a decimal, it's a percent. We need to make it into a decimal so we could multiply. So remember the trick or the shortcut was from a percent to a decimal, we would have to move two to the left because P is to the right of D in the alphabet. So if I move this two to the left, I get 0 .0055. So this is the decimal times 220. So you just do that in your calculator and you would get 1.21. So 0.55% of 220 is 1.21. Number three, 275% of four. So I'm gonna make this into a decimal. So remember, percent to decimal, we move two to the left. So this is 2.75 of, which means times four. So 2.75 times four is 11. Number four, Troy wants to buy a jersey of his favorite MLS team. The jersey is 30% off the original price. If the original price of the jersey is $35, what is the amount that Troy will save? So we have to find 30% of $35. So we're trying to find 30% of $35. So remember 30% is 0.30 of means we multiply by 35. So 0.30 times 35 is 10.5. So that means 30% off means he's getting $10.50 off. So this is how much he will save. That's not the amount that he's going to pay for the jersey. That's, amount, that's the amount that he's going to save given the discount.